Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. So we are doing another video for Friday, Freaky Friday, What Freaks Me Out. And you all know that flowers freak me out. Making flowers freak me out. Not only that, but making my own ephemera freaks me out. So, cause, so we're kind of getting a double hitter today. We're going to do these a little bit flower embellishments. Um, or ephemera, however you want to call it. So, you know, f my top thing would be flower embellishments, ephemera. Those all kind of wear me out. So you're going to see a series of that because I need to overcome my fear. So I've made a few already and I've just used some petals that I cut out off the machine, my scanning cut. Um, but if you have paper punches, you can do this. If you have dyes, you definitely can do this. So... This one was my first one, and I really like it a lot. The only thing is these colors are a little bit too different um, for them to actually truly match up. This was my second one, and you see I got better with my color coordination. And this was my third one. No, this is the third one, which I like a lot because I have four different sizes on here. And then this is my fourth one. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I've done is I just pulled out eight petals and I did different colors we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it uh, we're gonna call or roll these over you can use whatever you need to use I'm using a sketching pencil I think it is um, not sharpened to do this and if you notice I have the same petal just a different color I thought I figured let's give it some dimension some color um, Whenever I'm cutting objects out on my scanning cut, I always go into the petals, the flowers, and try to cut petals and stuff out because I feel like, you know, it's one thing to plop a butterfly on a project, which I tend to do quite often. And, you know, that works for me or a sticker here and there. But you can also plop down a um, flower unless it's a project that doesn't call for flowers like if you're making a guy card throwing a flower on there may not be the best idea but I mean it can't hurt <laughs> flowers are just so pretty when I lived in Italy and I was dating my boyfriend I used to buy him flowers because um, I think it's so important to do that sometimes we don't do that and you know we don't appreciate people enough and then once it's too late you're like oh I should have did this you know like the Bruno Mars flower I should have bought you flowers but you know the time is up buddy and that happens to ladies as well so now that we have all our petals curled coiled or whatever you want to call them I'm going to take some glue whatever glue you like to use best I just want to use something that's a fairly quick drying for me and we're going to make sure that we um don't you know it's no visual lines on here so we're going to make sure we get a good alternate alternate flower and then we're going to take some more glue because glue makes things stick and we're going to put this one on opposite direction over again over that opening okay or the petal cut portion once you stack a few on there, you're going to be like, oh, I'm running out of space. And that's okay. Now I have this one with this opening in there. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do it on here versus that one. Just because it makes a little bit more sense to put it on here versus in the center. For me, at least, if you are a good petal arranger, glue person, do it however is best for you. And then we're going to go here. Uh-oh. Went a little bit in. And so now... It does get a little bit more complicated because you have glue. I mean, you have really no space. You're running out of space. And now I'm going to um, put some glue right in the center. And I'm going to put this petal down. And right now, I don't really, it doesn't matter how I put it down as long as I put it in that circle. And did I put some in a circle? Because it came apart really quickly, which is odd for art glitter glue, right? Then we're going to take this piece. And we're going to alternate or overlap that one as well. And this is how our flower looks without even doing much to it yet. All right, so now that, you know, I'm just squeezing it all. As you can see, I'm applying some pressure. So all the glue can just seep out all over all of the part that we want to get glued down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers, because I've already curled, curled over 
my petals fairly well and I'm just going to pull these down and I'm going to because I want them to kind of be individual petals even though it's one solid flower I want them to kind of show off their beauty of what they are and right now it's just different shades of purple um, that we're doing and so now these portions what we're going to do is we're going to come back over and we will use our pencil in this instance and I'm going to just grab some paper or petals and I'm just going to curl I know you're thinking Brandy you had those called down I know but um, I feel like when you when for me when I'm manipulating paper I feel like whenever I do front and back or rotate it in both directions unless it's going to cause a problem with the design of the project that it bends in the direction that I want it to bend in a lot easier than it would if I only had it going in that one spot. Um, I hope that makes some sense. And now with these little pieces, I'm just going to plop them up randomly all over the place. And now we have our flower. Let's go ahead and put our centerpieces on. All right, so we got the bling out. And in this instance, um, I was going to use buttons, but I've, I've realized that I want to do some larger scale projects to put the buttons on and then have these little bling pieces in the middle for the smaller flowers. So I have this flower cut out, this petal cut out right here, like these sizes. And I think these would be, I think the buttons would probably look a little bit better in that on those, but you know, you can put buttons on whatever size you want to put your project on. We're just going to plop this down in the middle and in the middle and then art glitter glue does dry fast but we're going to sit it to the side to not really mess with it that much and so this one kind of makes even though it's the same size as the last one that we just did the way i've plopped it up makes it look a lot um smaller so in that instance we want to make sure that we find a jewel that may look a little bit smaller as well now, if you need to, which I should have, I did, you want to grab some type of pickup scissor, tweezers or something, because I've cut off the nails and that may be a problem. So you're just plopping this into the centerpiece. And even though I'm nervous about, I'm not nervous, I just don't want to make it look, I guess I am nervous. I don't want to make it look too bad or ugly or not pleasing to my eye because some things I find that are really pretty to me other people are like oh that's not cute and then I'm just like no I, I like it it's really nice you know um so that's why I'm always like nervous about making ephemera but I've seen some people make ephemera I'm just like wow that is gorgeous and they've only did like a small thing so we're going to take this one that looks pretty good it's a light lighter purple and I think it'll match this flower really nicely you know, they have they didn't do much. They just took, for example, a ribbon, a butterfly, and a flower, and some distress stain, and they made, like, one of the most elegant pieces of uh, ephemera I had ever seen. I'm just like, how did she do that? And it's called Conquering Your Fear. <laughs> right? All right. So let's see if this is going to look all right. That doesn't look too bad, even though this color... This color combination, I don't know what I was really thinking. It's a bit different, but I think it's going to work out. And I have a project I can use it on. And so now we have this one, which is all the same color. This pink is a little lighter pink. So I'm not sure how it's coming off on the camera, but um, let's try. Let's try and keep a pink color on there. Let's see. Oh, here we go right here. See? It's all about the centerpiece. All right, let's parade our creations over here. I love them all. They all are the same petals, just differently fluffed up or fluffed down. And I like them. And they're very easy to do. You could probably do this in front of your television. I probably would get upset with myself. And you know, you could probably make a flat one as well and then fluff it up at the end. But I just like to have give it some dimension as I'm going. I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you, how do you make your paper flowers. Do you use scraps or whole sheet of paper, paper punches, um, dies? Let me know in a comment. And if you have a great video that shows you how to make cute paper ephemera, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.